Hey there, Citizen Paller here, and welcome back. It's time for another tour of duty, and this time we're going to be taking out one of the most iconic ships in the game. Uh, if anything can be considered iconic, you got this, and basically the Connies, I would say, are kind of the, not flagship, but the, the ships that the game was originally like, revealed and really known in, in a lot of the material, a lot of the, the pamphlets were the Hornet series. Now, as the Hornets go, while there's a whole bunch of them, there's four or five base model Hornets. The the Super Hornet's a little bit of its class of its own, and hence it's going to be getting its own video. Uh, I will be doing a tour of duty for the regular Hornets coming up here in a little bit. Uh, the Super Hornet stands apart because it does have two major things different about it. Number one is that upper turret. We can't really see it too well here, but you'll see the gun sticking out up there, uh, that upper turret, but then also the second seat. You'll see here there's another seat. We can actually use co-pilot ladder. Uh, we're not going to do that right now, uh, but you can carry an additional person in this. And as, as far as fighters go, that's sort of unique. Uh, there are some oddball fighters that aren't really fighters, like the Hurricane and then the, what is it, the Gladius? Uh, I think it's the Gladius, the, the one that carries the torpedoes, uh, where they have, like, self-defense turrets. Uh, the Super Hornet, though, is unique, where that turret currently is the only one that slaves through to the primary pilot. So when no one is in that back turret position, that turret just works as gimbaled lasers for the pilot. And that is currently unique. There, there was some brief point where you could do that with the cutlass uh that turret seems to have been removed at least i can't find any way of renting it or buying it anymore uh and ones like the hurricane and the gladius you just currently can't do that uh in game though there's been talk of sometime down the line you'll be able to do like a ship computer and use one of the computer slots uh, for possibly doing that, but we're just speculating now on things that were maybe talked about. Uh, so those two elements set the Super Hornet apart from the regular Hornet. The regular Hornets all just have a single seater, and while they do have kind of a funky underside here, uh, they don't quite have the size 5 ball turret that this guy does. In terms of fighters, there are generally considered two high-end superiority fighters that you should kind of grind for. You, you're asking people, what are the best fighters in the game? Well, they're either going to generally say the Saber or the Super Hornet. Uh, and both ships are absolutely great. I'd also throw the uh, the Glaive in that conversation, uh, but the Glaive is kind of so rare due to its price and the, the artificial scarcity of when you can purchase it. Uh, it generally doesn't get included in that conversation. Uh, but this is kind of in that high-end echelon as far as fighters go. And what I like to tell people, I recommend, if you're going to be kind of, you're not super into the flights, if you're not going to be running a HOTAS or dual joystick setup, the Super Hornet is the way to go. This, compared to the Saber, is a lot more forgiving for keyboard and mouse gameplay. It doesn't rely quite as much on nimble maneuverability. It's a little more tanky in terms of armor. Uh, while the, super, the Saber actually has more shielding than this, this has a lot more, like, what would essentially be hit points uh, based on the, the armor of this ship. Uh, also, it does do really well with gimbaled weapons. Hence, it's initial setup that we are looking at right now. The setup we're looking at right now has four size twos, all gimbaled, and two si Why do we not have the front gun? Why is the front gun? Did I? Okay, we don't have the front gun. Well, hang on a second. We'll be right back. Okay, this is better. We have the front turret now mounted. Uh, so what was I saying? By default, you have four size twos, all gimbaled, and two size ones. Uh, and this is done off of a size five hard point and then three size three hard points. So underneath the wings here, this is a size three hard point. It is gimbaled though. You can see the gimbal up there on that. Uh, so it is a size two, same for the other wing. This underneath the nose here where I was looking before, that is a size three hard point dual gimbal then taken out taking us down to two size ones now there's a whole lot of customization you can do within there uh, for what you need for your guns the size 5 ball turret up at the top is only size 5 in classification right now as there's no way to do an ungimbled size 5 weapon in it what you can do though is instead of having the two size twos that it currently has uh, and hopefully I can do this now because I got ships spawn all over the place. Yeah, we can still go back to this Super Hornet here. So this was the one that didn't have the front nose on it. Yeah, so the nose is off. But we can come back under here, gun center turret. So this is the center ball turret. What we can do is we can actually just put a standard Hornet S5 Varipak mount. And what this will do is it's going to convert us over to a single size 4. Uh, I don't actually want to put any of these size 4s, but this is actually like the main gun on the... Uh, 
the Vanguard Warden. So that's the Ballista Kin on the Vanguard Warden. I wouldn't actually use that. It kind of sucks. Uh, but you can see that. Here's off of one of the Connies. Uh, you can do that. So you could do that. Um, so you could do either single size four, or we can go back to the original turret, uh, which is this dual turret. And this is unique for the hor the Super Hornet. The regular Hornet can't get this, this 160F S5 ball turret can't do this uh, and then within this guy we have by default the size twos two size twos. so you can either get one size four two size twos under the top center perhaps at some point in the future you'll be able to do a single size five that's just forward firing i don't know about that that's not been anything confirmed i'm just saying it's a possibility you'd be able to choose from that as an option also for now though you can't actually do that under the wings as you can see are the size threes and then the nose one this is the one that i kind of had screwed up before so gun nose here uh you could do either a single size three you could do a gimbaled size two or the by default one is it this thing no let's see this is the gun nose where's my turret here the anvil special turret which takes it down to two size ones that are also gimbaled uh, this front turret, this weird looking one, this T or H section thing, likes to break a lot. I don't really like this. Uh, if I was going to take this out and I was going to be modifying and using this ship regularly, I would go up to a single size two gimbaled and then basically I would match this up to the wings. So I'd have the, all, the two wing guns and the nose guns all be the same weapon all gimbaled. That way they would overheat at the same time. I'd put them all in the same fire group uh, and use them that way. So I would have, you know, two si or three size threes in gimbals. Uh, and then up here, I'd probably do the size four. Uh, or you could actually, another way you could do it, if you would try, uh, since these are two size twos right now, uh, these are two size twos and you have a single size two down here, you could actually technically be running uh, five of the exact same weapon. Uh, and that way you only have one target lead pip to worry about. You put them all in the same fire group uh, and you could either, you know, go slow firing and just really focus in on making each salvo count or high rate of fire, however you want. That is another very viable way of doing it. Uh, it really depends on if you want that size four or two size twos. I think I would generally go with the size four in a second weapon group uh, and use that against larger ships, your cutlasses in up, uh, and then use the rest of the firepower against smaller stuff. That would probably be the way I would go. Okay, that's the ship for the most part. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take her out. For now though, we're not gonna climb into the back seat as right now it seems to bug out where I can't re-gimbal it. So we're gonna focus on just using the co-pilot ladder. We'll jump into the back seat when all is said and done. You'll see that a little bit. Uh, we're just going to take it out in the default configuration, all that. I would definitely not use the Mantis miniguns. Uh, I've gone on enough of this in the Tour of Duty videos. I just don't like the miniguns. Uh, in theory, oh, the ship's been real buggy. The exterior just keeps... I don't know why it's doing that, but we'll see. Hopefully it does. I, I, this is like my third time recording this video. The last time I was flying along shooting somebody and my canopy just opened. <laughs> It just opened on me. I couldn't do anything. Like, all right. <laughs> I guess I guess this is how we're flying now. Uh, let's go ahead and retract our landing gear. Go ahead and open. See, hopefully there's like an ECN alert or something we can... Yep, perfect. Give me that ECN alert. Accept offer. Uh, we'll go ahead and... Let's see here. Okay. Set root. Did it lock in? Set root. Can't tell if it's set or not. Clear root, set root. There we go, we're set. Okay, speed, not the best. That's not where this ship is super strong. We got some type of weird thing in the heads up there. Let's see if we go third person, go back in. Nope, it's still there. Uh, but 220, 230, I forget. The acceleration is okay. It's not bad. Uh, and then uh, maximum fast travel or whatever here is going to be like 12... 80, I think, something along those lines. This ship is not designed to be a speed demon. It's really not. It's designed to be tanky. Let's see, do we have our, our good? Our guns are firing and they are gimbaled. So the, the, the problem is if I get into the back turret to show off the remote turret, when I get back out of it, it doesn't re-gimbal up that turret on me. So I end up giving up like 40% of my firepower by doing it. So we'll get into the back turret once we're said and done. 11, 12, 1220. So there you go. Takes quite a while to get up to that final one. This thing's not a speed demon, but it is rather tanky. Uh, right now, it's not too much of a problem because there's not a, too much that shoots back at you in game. Go ahead and jump out here.
Don't know why we have that weird... Oh, it's like the... It's the map. It's like the... The star map trying to come through. It's a little bit of an annoyance, but... Alpha be alpha. Turn here. Oh, let's see if we can show you the missiles. They should be open at this point. Oh, free up the camera. So there you go. You can see the missile rack. It's just a small little thing. It's under the actual part that opens down. Um, just those little smalls. I think you could... I think in theory you could pull off the quad and do two, two size twos, so giving you four size twos in total. I would probably do that if I was going to be using this ship a lot more. Uh, my Super Hornet doesn't really get used at all. It's a perfectly fine ship, but if I'm going to be doing serious dogfighting, well, I'm not going to be doing keyboard and mouse. I'm going to do joystick, and then I'm either going to take the Gladius or the Saber. Uh, if I'm going to be doing just mission running and random combat... Oh, darn it, it's not... What happened to my gimbals again? It was working before. What if we lock them? Okay, unlock the gimbals now. Dang it, they were working before. Ah, oh. and now they're they're absolutely useless because they're firing off at the wrong angle. What was I saying though? So when the ship does work fine, it's it's actually quite good. But if I'm going to be going looking for direct dogfighting, I'm going to be taking something that I'm going to be flying with my Hotas, uh, and that's going to be the Glaive or the Saber. And if I'm doing missions, well. If you're doing missions, you're probably going to have to at some point get out and get a package or whatever. I'll just take my um, my Vanguard. Because the Warden's just... While well, the Warden, yeah, isn't quite as maneuverable as a fighter, when the enemy's this dumb and broken like this, where they just kind of slowly move along, well, it's just as good, if not better, at popping them. And I do have that little bit of cargo capacity. So... Where's my... It's like there's somebody in my... Ter oh, is it because I got into third-person mode? That was the same in forward, but because I went into third-person mode, I lost the turret, I think? It's not like there's anybody in my back seat. We just give up too much firepower without that, don't they? Holy crap! It's working! Nope, it's not. It's just on my front nose, though. So I can almost use it. Good, because we're going to need it against the Connie. Spin up those mini guns. Just lay into them. Can maybe lock a missile. Die already. Did he die? I guess he died. Yeah. Uh, well, unfortunately, we lost the gimbals. So, we we gave up a, quite a bit of our firepower there, at least effective fire. But now it's... Nope, it's still not. That's weird. Hang on. So, it gimbals to the right, but not to the left? There's something very weird going on with this ship. Uh, I wonder if this is something that broke when they did the uh, that the turret thing. It's trying to gimbal left. Oh, there we go. I relocked. Oh, was my view not locked? Hang on. Now that my view's locked, it's doing it again. We overheated it. Let's see if we can find one more. Okay, here we go. We're trying it again. Now they're still working like it's supposed to. Oh, God. As if he came on the yep, 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 yep. Just shut up and spawn the enemies. I hate to say it, but I think we're losing. Come on. Where's the closest enemy? 
Closest enemy, where are you? We'll try using a missile this time, too. Come on, you gonna spawn? There we go. Come in. A Gladius! Okay. We got a missile lock? Come on. Why don't the missiles want to lock? What's that? That's an Aurora! Okay, can we get a missile lock here? Don't aim so far ahead. The ECN doesn't work. That's a little more like it. Not great, but a little more like it. It's a shame this stuff's so broke. I think this stuff's going to remain broke until 3.5. Uh, whatever they did that broke the AI that they don't fly correctly anymore, I think their thought process is, well, they're redoing the entire flight system. They have to redo the AI to work with that and everything. So why, you know, maybe put someone 100 man hours into fixing this? when it's going to be irrelevant in March anyway. And while that's a little disappointing for playing right now, it does mean these missions are super dumb and easy for making money. And yeah, I'd rather them focus their man hours on what needs to be done for the final, you know, for something that's more uh, permanent to the game. Okay, so there's the Super Hornet. An extremely good, high rate of fire, super powerful fighter. Uh, it definitely has the price point to justify it. It does have some cool things that go along with it, primarily the fact that you can do a lot with that ball turret, uh, but you can also... Let's, uh, let's go ahead and turn the engines off so we don't float away. Where's my engines? Engine off. Stop turning. Stop turning. Stop turning. Stop turning. Stop turning. Can we bring it to a complete stop there? Now, exit to zero G. Come on. Uh, press to unlock. Why can't I exit? Open pilot canopy. There we go. Should be able to get into the back seat here, and I'll just show you that without flying back. Uh, but this seat does give it a, a fair bit of utility that the other one doesn't have. Uh, by the other one, I mean the Saber. Or the other Hornets, too. Um, you do get that little bit extra from this, do you know? You got that one friend that just is terrible at flying, or they, they just started playing, and you want to take them along on something? Uh, well, you can't do this in any of the other fighters, really. Which is convenient. It really is. But, there we go. Get into the back seat. Now we can actually turn on, enter the remote turret, and... Oh, we don't have any power? Where's my power? Enter turret, power on. There we go. Enter turret. Can't fire? Oh, they're on right click rather than left click. It's a little strange, but there you go. It's a remote turret. So, there's not a whole lot to be said there. A super good ship. Great for keyboard and mouse, very forgive, very beginner friendly, um, not priced beginner wise, but in terms of if you just need a ship that you can reliably use uh, and, you know, maybe have a little more utility than the average fighter, will work with keyboard and mouse, joystick, all that other fun stuff. Yeah, the Super Hornet's probably high up on that list of recommended ships. Uh, it's a shame that it seems to be a little whacked out right now, uh, which is kind of annoying, but... There we go. Until next time, this has been Paller. Thanks for watching.